So today we're going to be talking about being surprised. I'm so happy to have you here. This is one of the most important messages we can even, you know, look into ever. It's amazing. Life is surprise. Life is a surprise. It can be surprising for us. It can be encouraging for us in ways that we won't even expect. What I want you to do, and I want myself to do as well, is to go into the world being open, being willing to have surprises come our way. I was single for a while. I had like just broken up with a very negative relationship, something that really didn't work for me. And I was just kind of not really into dating. And my older sister came to me and she told me, you know, there's this girl I'm going to school with, um, university, and she's like really cute and smart. I think that you'd like her. I was like, you know, I'm for, it's not the time. I'm still kind of rehabilitating and getting over my ex and, you know, I don't like setups and, you know, if it's natural, if I'd meet her, you know, through like shared common circles and people that we know, then it's fine. But, you know, like a, like a setup, like to call her to, you know, it doesn't feel right. And my sister kept nagging me. She was like, you know, she can be really good for you. You would love her. She's amazing. You know, we share the same class and she participates and I, I, I think that she'll work for you. She's younger than you and she's like really beautiful and her comments, whenever she shares something in class, you know, you can really see that she's your type, Jonathan. I was like, all right, all right, all right, I'll give it a chance. And I called her and I, and you know, it wasn't great. Like the conversation wasn't good. And I hung up the phone and I told my sister, you know, it doesn't work. It's, uh, you know, she's, she's, not, she's not the one. She's not the, the kind of person that, that fits for me. She was just, you know, she just didn't sound right. You know how, what I mean by that? So basically, um, I said no. And she also said no, the girl, because, you know, there was no chemistry. And my sister kept nagging and nagging. Like four months later, she came back home and she was like, I want you to call this girl again. You, I see you guys. This is like, she's good for you. You know, you're going to be good for her. This is a great match. Call her. I was like, all right, I'm going to call her, but this is going to be the last time. She said, okay, fine. You know, maybe, maybe this be the last time, but do call her. So I called her. And what was so interesting was that this time there was some chemistry. Uh, it turns out that she went through, through some things and I was more open to being in a relationship and we um, decided to meet and we had a date and then we had another date and then we had another date and now we are engaged. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. So what I want to say here is that if I would have not been willing to be surprised by life and to be surprised by this new match, this new setup possibly working, I wouldn't have been where I am today. So quite fascinating, isn't it? Be open, be open to what the world has to offer to you. Another example, I have this friend from childhood who he's like a dreamer, like not really connected to this world in some ways, um, kind of wandering from job to job. And he called me the other day and I, you know, I wasn't really interested in talking to him because he kind of puts me down sometimes. And he called and he called and he called. By the third time I picked up, I was like, hi, what's up? What's up? And he said, listen, my brother works in this government agency and they're looking for an artist to do the whole interior of some big uh, government building, like paint on the walls for this big interior. I was like, I, I don't do interior and I like, I do canvases and you are asking me to do painting on walls. I don't do that, but you know, good luck to your brother. And he said, listen, I want you to call my brother. Just talk to him. If it doesn't work, if you're not interested, then, then but he can explain to you better what it is that they're looking for. So I said, all right, all right, all right. And just out of courtesy, out of, just out of being nice to him, I decided to, oh, all right, I will be, you know, calling this brother of yours that I didn't know. So I called this brother and it turns out that this is an exciting project that I, I, I was excited about. I got excited about and I applied and I, you know, made a beautiful proposal together and I understood what, what, what the space looked like. He sent me some um, plans, architectural plans of the interior design. And I was like, yeah, you know, we can make something work. Now, my friends, two years later and $100,000 in income, 
I have to stand here and say, what would have happened had I not taken that phone call from this kind of bummed down friend of mine? What would have happened? Imagine yourself what an amazing opportunity I would have missed. So what I learned from that experience is that life is going to throw us some amazing opportunities. And we need to get out of our preconceptions of like, my sister is not going to be setting me up. You know, what does she know? Or this friend of mine, you know, what does he understand in, in the art scene? And, you know, how can he really like help me, you know, advance myself and, you know, his brother in government. It just, it just sounds so ridiculous. But life is ridiculous. Think of some of the most amazing things that you achieved in your life and you will find that they were often influenced by, you know, amazing, weird turn of events. I met one of my best friends, an amazing woman who is like a mentor for me in an exhibition that I went to like late at night and I was so tired and we were the only people there and we began talking. Ten years later, she is my ultimate mentor, an amazing woman. Life is going to bring you some amazing opportunities. I want to encourage you to grab them, to seize them, to be willing to be open to the fact that who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? You might as well receive what it is that you're looking for. So make sure to ask things from the universe. Be willing and open to receive them. And who knows what's going to happen? Stay open-minded. Be willing to be surprised.